everyone, this is Sophie uh, from Aloha Kinderschminken and today I'm going to show you a pirate face painting. The really good thing about this design is that it's really easy to do and you will only need four colors. Black, white, dark gray and red. So the first thing I'm doing is um, the red headscarf. I took some red with a sponge and I'm applying it over his forehead. So on one side of the face, it doesn't matter which one, I am now painting a small circle and uh, underneath it, I am painting two long pointy shapes. On the opposite side of the face, I'm going to use the same sponge to go over the cheek. But the thing is um, that I want very little color on my sponge, so I am first rubbing it on the tissue to get most of the color out of it. Just make sure that you are not pressing too hard on the sponge. The color should be very subtle. And you can use the other side of the sponge to just blend it in. So now I grabbed a thick brush and I applied some dark gray on it. And I'm going to use it to apply some low lights on the scarf. So I'm putting color on both sides of the scarf. And what you can do is use your finger to blend both colors together because you don't want any harsh lines. These are supposed to be uh, shadows. I'm also applying some dark gray around the knot and um, underneath it as well. And with the rest of the gray color left on my brush, I am going to draw a line on one eyelid. And it should be the eye above the cheek where you put some red on. Now I'm going to draw his eye patch. I'm still using my thick brush that I loaded with uh, black. And I'm basically drawing a circle around his eye. And I'm filling the color in. So now we don't want to forget uh, the strings that hold uh, the eye patch, one going up and obviously another one going the other way. So now I grabbed um, a round brush number six and um, I'm going to paint his mustache. I already painted one side. I'm going to show you how it goes. Basically the line starts underneath his nostril. It goes upwards in a curved motion and it finishes underneath the corner of the mouth and then it goes back to where it started and all you need to do is fill the color in and with the same brush uh, I am then do, um, doing uh, a line underneath, underneath his mouth and the line goes from thin to thick towards the middle to thin again and finally I am adding a beard. I am now painting some white dots over the scarf, uh, just randomly, and um, I am using the white face paint from Diamond Effects, which is, in my opinion, the best white you can use to paint over another color. So I switched to a thin brush number one that I loaded with black, and I'm adding some contours on the scarf. So the next step is completely optional, but I think it looks kind of cool with this um, face design. I'm basically going to draw a scar on the reddish area here on his cheek and um, the line should be crooked. And then I'm just adding some tiny lines across to simulate uh, the suture. 
and uh, if you want you can add a little bit of blood dropping from the wand and finally I am still using my thin brush number one that I loaded with white and I'm just going to use it to bring some highlights over the design and this was the final touch I hope you like this design thank you for watching and see you soon for another tutorial